Now, as the crisis of Myanmar's Rohingya minority escalates, the country's de facto leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, is continuing to avoid the issue uh, that the UN said ethnic cleansing was taking place and try and tackle it head on. The Nobel Prize winner has faced international criticism for not speaking out against the military that's driven nearly half a million people to cross the border into Bangladesh. In her first uh, comments on the crisis, Suu Kyi condemned all human rights violations and said she was concerned by the number of Rohingya refugees, but she again refused to address the UN's accusations of ethnic cleansing. Well, Chalk Wynn is the founder and executive director of the Burma Human Rights Network and joins us now from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Chalk Wynn, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, so your reaction, please, to uh, what we heard from Aung San Suu Kyi yesterday and her sort of failure to uh, address the UN claims of ethnic cleansing. Yeah, actually, um, thank you very much for that. Actually, she's been uh, hiding and uh, flatly, uh, blanketly uh, denying the ethnic cleansing that's going on in Burma. One of the reasons she gave is very, very controversial. I mean, the way she said that uh, uh, people are, uh, why have 400,000 people have fled to Bangladesh? She, she wants to know about that. Of course, this is very, very clear because the, uh, the military has been killing them and burning down their villages. Nobody wants to go. This is not the holiday trip or this is something, you know, their, their, their life has been under the threat and they've been killing, they've been killed and they've been targeted by the military, that's why they run away. And also she wants to give the, she also give, uh, use the evidence that there are still large portion of the population remain in the northern of Hang State. I, I want to respond this with the, with the um, example that when the Khmer Rouge committed the genocide, when they killed the 1.7 million people, that time there was also remain millions of people also in the, in the, in the, in the in Cambodia, it doesn't mean it doesn't take away uh, the the problem that they they are they are not uh, committing the genocide or uh, ethnic cleansing. It is indeed clearly proved that this is an like ethnic cleansing going on. Uh, and the difficulty, though, of, of being able to independently verify uh, that claim that there is ethnic cleansing at uh, short win is because. Rights groups and, and journalists can't get up to that area. Now, Aung San Suu Kyi said yesterday that the operation is over. Do you believe her and do you accept her uh, call that diplomats and rights groups can travel up there with the Myanmar army and see what, for themselves what's happening? Actually, uh, BBC, uh, Channel 4, they all uh, reported that the persecution and the attack is still going on, operation is still going on. There are many villages have been burning down. We can see from the live, you know, from the people, from the, those who are in the border area, they are showing the pictures and videos and live to us that the villages are burning and and she she is actually is a, a denying. She's in the denial of the ethnic cleansing. That's what the problem is. As a human, as a Nobel laureate, this is a, you know, and this is very disgraceful and, and this is a principally she need to speak up, but actually she is totally speak. She speak up, but totally denying, denying the what, what is the truth on the ground. Okay, uh, Chaw Wynn from the Burma Human Rights Network. I thank you for your time.